So what I'll just do in this video is uh, just add a few uh, footnotes to what I said in um, the Magic Moves video. So it, it really doesn't make any sense to watch this video if you haven't watched the Magic Moves video. So watch that one first. All right. Okay. So say you really want to uh, implement what I said in this video. So the first thing you have to do is you have to uh, record your moves. So let's just record that first move, that first example of a move that I gave. All right. So for that one, the first thing we do is we take that left layer and turn it back. And so I usually record it like this. So left, kind of like that. It's pretty intuitive, right? Then I take the right one and I note it down like that. Then we do the front layer here and I record it like this. There's official notation, but I found it more confusing than helpful to actually follow that. So I make up my own um, way of noting down things. The main thing is you have to keep this thing kind of fixed in space, right? So fixed in space. You can't move around the cube. So all, all the moves that get recorded is assuming that the cube stays fixed throughout, okay? So then the next one is kind of doing this, which I note down like that. And then, well, uh, there's the bottom being moved. And then we go like that. And a total, um, the total of all this is, 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 is this bit down here. So that really pins down exactly your move or my move, okay? And now, well, if you actually want to do the magic move, what we have to do now is, well, we have to just twist the top and then we kind of work our way backwards here, right? So and whenever you see an L for left, well, it stays an L, but the direction of the arrows gets reversed, right? So that arrow now goes up and then we move in. So now we have to do the, the right layer. That has to go up now. And then we have to do the front, but the front is now twisting in the opposite direction. And we kind of move all the way through. And so basically what we have to do is this, when we do the reverse move. Okay, and so this way you can really, really pin down your magic move, okay? By, by writing down um, the move in this way. Okay, so that's the first thing. How do you actually use these magic moves to, to solve a cube? Okay, so for example, here you've got a cube and you want to move this guy here over there, all right, with magic moves. So to move corners, what we've done is we've designed a magic move that cycles three, three corners, okay, cycles three corners. So we focus on three of those corners here. And now we apply the magic move, which leaves everything here unchanged except for cycling those three. That has the effect that B moves over here. Okay. Now we want it up there. So now we focus on three different ones. Okay. So three different corners and we apply uh, the magic move. So that first B moves over there. Then we apply it again. So then B moves up there. All right. Okay. So B is in place then maybe. And then maybe we want to move that guy that's here now to, to this position. And so we can do this with cycles of three. We just have to avoid um, kind of mixing that up uh, in the process, but that can be done. Okay, so that's kind of moving things around. And what about um, twisting things in place, for example? So let's say we've got all the pieces in place now and we just have to uh, twist them to make them, uh, to orient them the right way. So everything red here, so it means everything is twisted the wrong way. So what do we do? Well, we focus on two of those guys and now we unleash the magic move that just twists those two guys and leaves everything else unchanged until that guy here is fine, okay? And then what do we do? Well, we maybe take those two guys here and then we just unleash the magic move that just affects those two until this guy here is fixed. And now, well, let's focus on those two guys. And here we actually get lucky and both of those get fixed at the same time. Right? And then we maybe look at those two guys here, um, start fixing. And we just keep going like this and fix the orientation of uh, one corner at a time. And we can go all the way around. And well, I mean, when you think about it, you might think, well, yes. But say, say, for example, these are the last two that need to be fixed. There's really two different outcomes. If I now start twisting, you would think, well, either, well, eventually that one will be fixed, that's fine. But what now if that's not fixed? That could happen, right? But actually, 
that can't happen. So it actually turns out that this will never happen. Um, on, on the last move you'll actually always fix two things and we've already done a video basically justifying why this is the case. So um, just, just check that one out. And it's the same sort of thing for you know pretty much else every, everything else there. I mean there's a few um, things that you can run into so you have to basically experiment a little bit. Um, uh, you can check out some more write-ups about this that I've done and also that other people have done. So again in the description here I've got links to other people's treatment of all these things where a lot more um, details are provided. But again, I mean, it's really about finding your own solutions. So it's really about, you know, maybe spending like, you know, three, four hours on, on this and really trying to implement it, really kind of uh, powering through getting your own solutions. And then you're going to be pretty happy.